Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is the second video in a long series on blend modes. So we're going to start with a little bit of history and a little bit of explaining what the different groups are. Um, we're going to do a few examples and then that should be about enough. So uh, we all started back in the Stone Age when things were driven by steam. Photoshop 3 1994 introduced what's effectively the core set of blends. So they are, well, normal is just kind of normal. It's nothing special. Uh, normal means do nothing, dissolve is hardly used. So kind of ignore those really. This is where it starts getting useful. A set of blend modes here, which just make the picture darker by different calculations. Then if you've got darken, you might as well have lighten. And lighten uses for effectively the opposites of the darkened blends. And then you've got contrast modes. And what contrast modes, they use a combination of darken and lighten. They darken the darks and lighten the lights. So they're using the same thing, but in to make add more contrast because it's kind of handy. And then there's inversion, which effectively turns things upside down, which are occasionally useful. And color ones, and this is based on the HSL model, which again can be very useful. And then stepping from 1994 to 2002, we can see there are some new ones added here, just into there, filling in the gaps of the dark and light and contrast mode. 2003, another one in here, hard mix, not used very much. Then 2010, the subtract and divide down here, again, occasionally useful. And then 2015, Affinity Photo turns up. And it does all of this, apart from the dissolve and the divide, and you don't really miss those, and you can sort of fudge them, which we'll see. Then what happens is also Affinity adds a whole bunch of other ones, which again, not used too much, but we'll get to them. And then there's opacity, because opacity is the transparency of the top layer, and that is actually quite useful, but it's effectively a blend mode in itself. And there are a whole ton of extras which have not been appearing in the mainstream ones. They're in some other odd products, they're in papers, academic things, and so on. And we're going to look at a number of these and maybe try to replicate them but once, only after we've gone through the main set of blend modes. Um, as I said, only a few of these are popular. And these are the ones which you are probably useful to, to learn first because they're very practical. And uh, we're going to look at these three here. Luminosity is just useful when you want to um, not change the color when you're doing something like curves. So let's switch to, uh, where is it? Uh, here we go, uh, an image. And let's can hit Control J to duplicate it, just to show that what these things do very briefly. So this is a copy of the image itself, nothing changed. If I go through here, you can see that between the lines here, this is the darkened group. We go down here, things get darker. The lightened group, things get lighter. The contrast group, contrast increases. So you can see they're very easy. And all you need to know is if you, the most useful one for, for darkening is multiply, because the picture looks realistic. The other ones, it quickly doesn't. For lightning is the opposite of multiply screen. Again, that's kind of like, you know, if it's too light, then you can turn down the opacity, because the opacity learns, it acts as a volume control. And down beyond that, there is overlay and soft light, which is a softer version, which kind of gives you a more contrasty thing. And again, you can play with the opacity to get the effect that you want. So, Beyond those which we mentioned there in the red, the light red here are ones which are kind of useful as well, um, but just not used quite so often. 
And it gives you a pro progression of things to learn. Learn a few of the useful ones first and then get into the others, more, which are more odd. And sometimes you're just implementing a magic recipe and all you do is, is uh, implement that. Anyway, that's it for now. So thank you very much for watching.